South African rugby team, the Springboks, won the 2019 Rugby World Cup in Japan. But there's been some racial discussion in South Africa from the likes of Ntiki Mazwai as well as Mbuseni Ndlozi, which has caused some bit of a stir. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, TV Scoop Entertainment, where I'll be bringing the latest scoop in South Africa. Do make sure that you do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so, and that you hit the notification bell for more TV Scoop Entertainment videos. South Africa is a rainbow nation that has its own constitutional rights, one of which is freedom of speech. The singer, songwriter, performer Ntiki Mazwai exercised her rights on social media on the 2nd of November 2019, expressing how she feels about the sport of rugby as well as stuff that is surrounding it. So at this moment, I will just play a clip so that you take a look at what she actually had to say on that video. Take a look at this. I cannot play along with you. I will not be a fool and pretend that the team that is representing South Africa represents me and represents the demographic in my country. I will not play along with you and lie to the world and pretend as if rugby is not a stronghold of racism in this country. I will not play along with you and pretend as if Black people are not deliberately excluded from the sport in this country. I will not play along with you and pretend as if I don't know black boys who have been excluded from the selection processes by the processes being far away from them and little tricks that Afrikaans men have played to keep black boys out of the sport. I will not play along with you and act a fool and act like I don't know that what cause uh, rugby is a huge rugby culture and if that is then there should be more Kosa men on the team I will not play along with you and pretend as if a squad with 31 men only seven black people representing a black country is something that I must stand and put my name to and respect. If you want my voice as a South African, you will give me a team that reflects me and reflects where I am. I will not stand by and be a fool with you and go back to the apartheid era and applaud white men as they exclude black men from the sport. I will not be a fool and play along with you. In Tiki Matsu, I just noted that she refuses to support the Springbok team due to the fact that its demographics does not reflect what South Africa is all about. Out of the 31 men in rugby, only 7 people are black and that rugby sport, it has been known to exclude black people deliberately during the selection processes and that the rugby sport is a stronghold of racism in South Africa. One user went on to say that I don't fully agree with your viewpoint but I recognize your line of thinking. Another one was like, if you've played provincial rugby in high school and in Cravenwick, you'll understand what Tiki is talking about. Many excellent black players but you'll never see them when the game goes professional. Other users went on to say that I will also not play along with and pretend this has an impact on my support for the Boca. Watch them attack instead of listening. One other person who exercised their freedom of speech about the Springboks demographics, it was Ngozi Mbuseni, who is one of the leaders of the EFF, an opposition party to the ruling party ANC, and this is what he had to say. The only sports event that can unite South Africa is Casta Semia during athletics. You don't hear people telling us to observe the moment of silence and wear Semia feet when she runs against the whole world. No president goes to support her, just saying, now I'm watching Chiefs. He also mentioned that congratulations to Sia Kolisi, the rest you can go get your congratulations from Prince Harry. I hope Ramaphosa puts Sia in his plane when he comes back home. When the colony of England loses, the Kevin King are going to unleash frustrations on him. Please, we must unite behind Sia when the English colony loses. Ah, please, today is England versus England. I mean, June 2010 World Cup. The settlers had both flags in their homes and cars. It's a win-win for them because they are still England at heart. You should be focused on removing apartheid statues. Now I'm watching Kaiser Chiefs. 
And of course, a lot of people took to social media to also express their opinions on what Nklovu tweeted about the Springboks. One user replied that the whole EFF is racist and another one's like and so is DA which is also an opposition party to the ruling party ANC. Another user clearly noted that the Springboks winning the World Cup does not change the fact that you are still more qualified than your white colleagues but you earn less than him or her. Dr. Ndlozi is just saying the obvious. Another user was like Ndlozi is racist a times five that's why the EFF will never govern this country basic minded doctor hashtag Ndlozi. Hmm, another one was like, if the EFF collapses tomorrow, not a single company will employ in Closey. He had proven that not having a matric is better than being a doctor with little intelligence. Hashtag in Closey will be the downfall of the EFF before VBS. Another user noted that there's no difference between the EFF and the AWB. They both think that killing the opposite race will solve all the country's problems. No wonder they both obsessed with the red beret and red flag. I guess in is trying to be Eugene Terblanche. Oh, okay. Black people are so desperate to be united with whites more than anything in this world. I just want to be united with my ancestral land through land expropriation. Hashtag Nglozi. That's what the user over here noted. Another one noted that that when I listen to black people and Bastien Siki and Busen Nglozi for not supporting the apartheid legacy called the Springboks, my heart is filled with the deepest pain when I hear blacks trying to be relevant using irrelevant arguments. The fact remains white will never like you. And then there was this tweet that caused a Twitter war in response to Nglozi saying that he's an educated waste while other PhD holders are contributing creative knowledge, writing articles, African black educated star Nglozi is being defined as according to race and scoring anti-political trials. What a shame. Yes, and there was a whole Twitter war. This user was like, it's funny. Blacks are claiming Nklozi is dividing the country. Were you united as a country? You can't divide what was never united. A few months ago, we saw numbers of the corporate essay. The same words are closing qualified blacks out. Blacks like kissing white bleep J. Hmm. To think that war was over, a lot of people started pulling articles, you know, receipts. And this is an article by Times Magazine saying this is the world's most unequal country the story behind times cover on inequality in south africa so yes even the captain of the springboks himself sia kodisi at one point when he married rachel his wife they got attacked left right and center and that goes to show that south africa has never been a united country while well, it is on paper and there was this picture as well that came out during the world cup finals saying bleep quarter bleep trouble b e e bleep swart captain and i say need that for only bleep yo directly translated to you know bleep the black captain uh and if you don't like that then bleep you as well and because there were so many similarities in Ntiki Mazwai and we seen in Clovis conversations or tweets, let me say so. This user wants on to say that the two should marry each other. Their names have six letters in common. They are both relevant and need rescue. The obsession with white people is slowly killing their mental health. Guys, that was it about uh, the story that I have for you, Ntiki, as well as we seen in Clovis. They express their freedom of speech and what do you think about that their viewpoints do comment down in the comment section down below hit the notification bell like this video or dislike it however way you received it until next time see you on another tv scoop entertainment video goodbye